Uh, I mean, it felt like we were in the playoffs today because it was one of the situations you win and you're in. If you don't, yeah, then there was a very slim chance we'd still go in. But, um, you know, we're happy to be in. And, and now it's just about getting, taking care of business. Um, happy for Derek, happy for AJ, happy for Ryan. Um, those are big, huge milestones for those guys and um, hopefully to continue that in the playoffs. As an O-line, how much pride do you guys take in having a guy like Derek Henry to do what he did and lead the league to work? Yeah, man. I mean, he's got all the talent in the world and um, I'm just happy to be his left tackle. I'm happy to, to block for him, man, because he makes us look good. And um, No, I'm going to stay right here. Um, I, I'm just I'm impressed by him, man. His work ethic, the way he comes to work every single day, uh, it's awesome, but now it doesn't mean now we got to go in the playoffs when we got to um, start running for more, more records, hopefully, and we got to we got to get going. Were you aware that he was close? And that I was very aware. Yeah. That I was like right in the fourth quarter. We were all talking about he needs this much, he needs that much, and so um, you know we came out, we went that did that three and out, and um, and then we ran a couple plays, and we were doing everything we could, man, and we got him a seam, and he did the rest. He's done a lot in his career. Yeah. To, to, did you get a sense this meant something to him? I mean, anytime you're the leading rusher in the NFL, that's I mean. That should mean something to a lot of people, and it's a awesome. It's a time for celebration right now. But literally, once we get back, man, it's all in the Patriots, and that's our main focus. We can't, we can't just be excited just to be in the playoffs. You know, now we're we're one of those few teams that have the opportunity. And we got to take the uh, take the most of it. What are your thoughts on going up there? I mean, to the Patriots? Yeah. Well, last time I went up there in the playoffs, we got the kicked out of us. So I got that in the back of my mind. Um, they have great coaches. Obviously, Tom Brady's the best football player of all time. I've said it once a thousand times, and um, you know they have a great defense, and so. Those guys do an amazing job. They're well coached, good fundamentals. They play really hard, and it's hard to play up there. I mean, they have a, a very large fan base for a reason. They deserve it, and I'm um, just excited for the opportunity. You guys should have waited to the playoffs as a head coach. Mm -hmm. How much does this mean to you to get this for him? Oh, I'm, I'm happy for him, man. I mean, that's that was the expectation coming in when they hired him, and we all have a job to do. And um, he's done a good job this year of putting us in those positions to be successful. Um, people, Vrabel is un, unapologetically himself all the time. And I think that's something that, you know, people lose sight of um, how important that is. And he's him every single day, whether you like him or not. And I, I can really appreciate that about him. And I'm, you know, I'm happy for him. I'm happy for this team. But like I said, you know, you, got, you get excited and we're all happy right now. But then in the back of your head, you're like, well, we got to get to work. And so let's, we got to get going. You mentioned that last trip to Foxborough? Well, I mean, uh, you remember it, obviously. I mean, that uh, made it to the divisional round and um, a huge comeback against Kansas City. And then that happened, um, you know, we just, they're a different team, we're a different team. We got to go in there and we got to play to the best of our abilities because that's when it's needed. And right now is the biggest opportunity we've had since I've been here.